Hi, uh, I'm Alice and I'm the librarian at Hartford College. Uh, and I'm Dr Catherine Sloan, I'm the Porter Fellow at Hartford College. So my role is I provide academic skills support for students. Um, so Alice, what are the most common things you do to support students? So when students arrive in Oxford, one of the first things that we have to do is help them understand how the system works because it will be completely new and everybody will have had different experiences of using libraries in the past. So my first job is just to generally introduce you to how the libraries work. And then after that, as you start your course, you'll gradually have more questions and need more advice on a one-to-one -one basis. So the next stage with students is just being on hand to answer questions as they come up. Sometimes it's short questions like, how do I look up this book on the internet and find out where to borrow it from? And sometimes it's something more complicated about how to search for lots of resources for a project. And that goes on throughout the time of a student at the university as they're doing their course. And what about you, Catherine? What kind of things do you do to support the students? Um, so I run workshops during the year with groups of students and I meet with students one-to-one -one, um, if they have any queries uh, and I also provide an online website which students can access which has different resources for helping you with your study. So the types of questions I get from new students at first is very commonly things like how do I keep on top of my work? Um, because term time at Oxford is really busy and demanding. Uh, whereas at school, your teacher tends to divide up and organise your day for you. At university, you have to do that organisation yourself. Um, so you might have some students have lots and lots of lectures and can't figure out time to get their tutorial work done. Others have very few lectures, but one big piece of work they have to figure out how to get through. Um, and they also have to find time to sleep and to enjoy societies um, and hobbies. And this can be really hard for students at first because at school, the teachers do all of that. They organize the day, they chop up your workload. Um, so I might meet with students to discuss how they can actually um, make good use of their time. And another really common question I get with students is they're worried about their level of reading and writing. Um, this is because a lot of courses have a really high weekly workload with complex readings and writings and there might be a lot of things they haven't done before like with the libraries Alice um, so they might have to read research articles which are very different um, from the books at school or they might have to write essays which have just a different style and structure from the essays they wrote at school and I might sit down with a student one-to-one -one and we would go through how to actually tackle and improve those things and if I take like a third common question it's definitely how do I write better notes um, because students might feel oh I'm really understanding all the information but my notes are letting me down maybe during a lecture it was really hard to write and listen because the information was so complex or they were reading a book and they began to write everything down and took a really long time to write notes on just a few pages. So at school, your teachers tend to gather and select the information that's relevant, but at university, students have to work more from notes they made themselves, they make themselves. And so we might sit down and go th look through notes and think of ways to improve and better techniques and strategies. Um, I think a lot of the students I see feel that they should have learned this all already at school, um, which really isn't true. Um, it's my role to help students, not just with learning their subject, but with learning how to learn, because the way you study at university is fundamentally different from what happens at school. Yeah, and that's definitely um, something which I see in the library setting as well, is that um, often students say to me when they want to ask a question, this is a silly question, or they say, I'm sorry to bother you, but that is what I am here for. That is my purpose as a librarian is to help people because they're not going to know how to get the most out of resources or locate them if they've never had to do it before. And I think that's, it's one of the more daunting things, isn't it, about starting universities. There's so much new in one go. You're trying to remember things as you learn them, but sometimes it takes more than one time to 
to try doing something for it to really stick in your mind for you to get the hang of it and also it's just the volume of things you have to ask for help for in a quite a short space of time when you've got used to knowing what you're doing and how things work say at school and then at university you're learning things in all different parts of your life at once and really that's sort of where we come in in a way is because we understand that you're going to need support and we'll try to make things available to you that might help depending on how you like to learn so if you like to talk to us you can have a conversation with us if you would prefer to read some guidance or see a video there's often that kind of guidance available for introductory topics that you can refer to at any time of day as well depending on whether you're a night owl or an early bird if you're trying to work at a different time so when we're around in the office that doesn't mean you might not be able to get help as well so I think that's something, like you say, when you're finding out your timetable, how you fit everything into your week, how you like to work, you're learning about learning as part of your, your course, really, aren't you? Yeah, I feel a lot of students feel that they should already know this and it's a part of the expectations we have of students. But when you arrive at Hartford, there's actually going to be a lot of people there to support you to gradually pick up all these skills, all the things you're not expected to know. It might be myself, the study skills tutor or Alice, the librarian, also your own personal tutors, your peers. Um, and it might be your college parents who have a little bit more experience because they're further along or it might be the disability advice service and you're allowed to ask help from all of those different people um, that's what we're all here for. Yeah definitely there's a huge network of people that you can talk to and I often see that with the new students the older students will be able to offer guidance when they, somebody stood not sure how to borrow the book then an older student might say, well, let me show you, you need your card, now you can borrow it, and this is where you put it. And that's all part and parcel of being in a community as well and being able to share your experiences. You don't assume everybody will have the same experience of you when you arrive, what they've already had as an experience in school, but also as you study, you'll find you have certain strengths, things you can share with your peers and methods. So that's part and parcel of that community learning experience really at a university, isn't it? That you can um, develop at your own speed, but also support each other as peers, which I think is quite a special uh, experience. And then on top of that, you have quite a personalized approach to support from the staff in the libraries and from the tutors, so personal tutors and people like yourself who can um, really see people as individuals and think about what their strengths are and which areas they want to develop and how we work with them individually to do that as well as offering group sessions and group inductions and things like that. Yeah definitely I think it's important to think of it that when you're choosing a college when you're choosing university it's a community that you're going to be part of um, and that's going to be there to support you in kind of achieving your goals. Yeah right well I think that's a good introduction to um, the kind of support that we offer just to give you a taster of um, what it's like at university and also to maybe debunk the myth that everybody turns up as a fully formed student who just needs to learn about their subject actually the whole point of coming is to learn all the skills that support you as a scientist or a historian that that's part and parcel of what you're learning is the techniques about how to learn and how to navigate the, the academic world as well as your subject that you're learning about. Definitely.